Thank God for you this morning. Not going to be before you long. Jump right into the text. All right. You will find me at 2 Kings chapter number 4. I'm going to start reading from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 4, commencing at verse 1. There it says, Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondsmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thy handmaid hath not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Well, then he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, Borrow not a few. And when they are come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons. Well. And shall pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, well. who brought the vessels to her. And she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, Bring me yet another vessel. And he said unto her, There is not another vessel more. And the oil stayed. Mm -hmm. Then she came and told the man of God. And he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt. And live thou in thy children of the rest. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. I want to tag this from lack to abundance. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Blessing happened behind closed doors. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. This unnamed woman is faced with a problem she cannot handle. Mm -hmm. She has debt she cannot pay. Well. She's an icon representing the many women raising children by themselves having to deal with credit. All right, all right. In the USA, single parents with children make up 65.5% of the population. Well, and 28.6% of single mothers live in poverty. All right. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. But creditors are not concerned with the cause of constricting conditions. Mm -hmm. They're only concerned with collecting what is due them because capitalism has no feelings. Well, mm -hmm. well, right. mm -hmm. Capitalism is concerned with personal profits and not people's problems. Mm -hmm. Life has dealt this woman a series of unpleasant events. All right. She's a widow mm -hmm. who just lost her husband. Mm -hmm. She's left alone with children, two sons, mm -hmm. and she has debt that she cannot pay. Well, the text tells us that her husband has passed away. He was a godly man. Uh -huh. Tells us that her husband was a man who served God's prophet Elijah. Mm -hmm. And church, let's not look down on this woman. Well, because most of us run into times when we have debt. That we cannot pay. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right now. Church, when we look at this, it tells us that family business should be managed by planning for your departure. Well, mm -hmm. well. My all plan right. is already in place. Mm -hmm. They already know what to do and where to lay me down. Uh huh. I don't want to leave that burden on my children. Well, it's a part of life uh -huh. that we all will face whether we like it or not. Uh -huh. okay. It's that one appointment that we cannot reschedule because it's in the Father's hands. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So many times when life comes to an end, 
families are faced with how to pay for their loved ones buried. Mm -hmm. And it's something that should be taken care of while you are yet Amen. in the land of the living. Well, yes. well, this woman, this woman had that taken care of, but she was left with debt mm -hmm. that she could not pay. Well, even though this woman was in need, she didn't take her problems to the world to ask for help. All right. All but right. she turned to someone who could aid her with a word from the Lord. All right. All right. And she showed us what to do and what not to do when you are facing hard times. Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's first look at some things she didn't do. Hmm. We see in verse 1 her situation. Mm -hmm. Her husband had passed. And she was raising two sons by herself. Well, she also had some debt that she could not pay. Mm -hmm. That day, if a person had debt that they could not pay, the creditor was free to take them or their children as slaves until the debt was paid off. Well, well, mm -hmm. the woman knew the creditor was coming to take her sons as bond slaves. Mm -hmm. They would be taken as slaves for debt bondage. Mm -hmm. And it was legal for them to do so. But this woman was praying for a way out. All right, all right. That is what you have to, to learn to do. You have to pray for a solution. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to stop wrecking yourself uh -huh. and go to God in prayer. Yeah, yeah. 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 They would have to work for the creditor until the debt is paid off. Uh -huh. all right, However, all right. according to the creditor, the solution was to give in to the problem. Uh -huh. Sometimes the situations tell us the only way out of this mess is to give in to the situation. Uh -huh. right now. Don't give in to your circumstances. Well, right. Don't become a slave to the trouble that you're in. Well, right. Don't become a slave to nothing and nobody but God. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 For these Amen. boys to become slaves would mean they would be separated from their mother. Well, Slavery is a separation from freedom. Mm -hmm. And we were saved to be free. Well, mm -hmm. God didn't save you to become a victim in a circumstance and a slave to your circumstance. Well, you're not to be a slave to your poverty. Uh -huh. You're not to be a, be a slave to your addiction. Well, you're not to become a slave to sin. Mm -hmm. I don't care how Stand bad up. things get, don't become a slave. All right, all right, all right. All right. Romans 8 and 35 says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? All right. All shall right. tribulation uh -huh. or distress yeah. mm -hmm. or persecution Say. or famine or nakedness or peril or sore? But then I like what he said. He said, Nay, Say. in all yeah. these things. Yeah. We'll Notice work. he says, Nay, in all. He didn't say outside of these uh -huh. things. Uh -huh. But in tribulation. Uh huh. In distress, yeah. in persecution, yeah. in famine, in nakedness, in peril or sword. We are more than conquerors uh -huh. through him that loves us. Preach, Rev, preach. Not slaves, but more than conquerors. Mm -hmm. This woman was in a mess. Mm -hmm. But in it, she was not willing to give up. Mm -hmm. Well, She was not willing to throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. And so she cries out to Elisha. In this text, Elisha is a type of Christ. Mm -hmm. Elijah was a type of John the Baptist, and Elisha is a type of Christ. God's pattern is being established. John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus. Uh -huh. All right, yes, he did. And Elijah prepared the way for Elisha, who received not only his mantle, but a double portion of his spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So she cries out to Elisha for him. This woman's cry to Elisha shows us how we must cry out to the Lord. Mm -hmm. right. Her cry to Elisha is it, it, translated to us as prayer. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised at what prayer would do in your life. Well, yeah. this woman cries out to God, cries out to Elijah, and observe how Elijah responds. Mm -hmm. First, Elijah says, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. What do you need? Mm -hmm. Jesus just asked those types of questions. What do you need? How can I help you? Mm -hmm. Nothing brings God more pleasure than for you to cry out to him. Well, all right. Uh -huh. He wants all to right. know, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. Say that now. 
Elisha says to this woman, how can I help you? And then he says, what do you have in your house? What do you have in your house, church? Notice, he didn't ask her what you lost. Well, what do you have in your house? He did not ask her what happened in your house. But he asked her what she had in her house. Uh -huh. Listen now, many of us are so engrossed and focused on what we lost uh -huh. that we don't realize what we have. All right. All right. But I learned that God is not concerned about what I lost. Uh -huh. He wants to know what do you have left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elisha knew that the woman was having credit problems. Hmm. Her husband had died. And she thought she had lost it all. Hmm. He asked her what do you have? God is not concerned about what you don't have. Well, God wants to use what you do have. Right. God can't use what you lost. All right. But he can use what you have. Yes. Right. And sometimes in our eyes, what you have may not look like enough. Mm -hmm. When the church starts asking for money, people say what they don't have. Mm -hmm. But God is not concerned about what you say you don't have. If you start giving God what you have, church. Uh -huh. yeah. God will take yeah. what you yeah. have. And when God yeah. gets through blessing what you have, yeah. God will open up the windows of heaven and pour yeah. you out of blessing. Yeah, yeah. 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 That yes, you will. will not be able to receive. Uh -huh. He says, what do you have in your house? Huh. He knew what she lost. Hmm. But he asked her, what do you have? Hmm. The tragedy of many people is that we are so involved in examining what we lost that we cannot see what we have gained. Mm -hmm. How many are using what you have? Mm -hmm. Throughout this year, more tragedies have been expressed. People have lost this and people have lost that. Mm -hmm. They have lost houses and cars and family members. But God is not concerned with what you lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of us come to church and cry about people we lost. Mm -hmm. But I'm not crying about that today. Mm -hmm. I'm crying about lost souls. Uh -huh. Come on, what do you have left? Mm. We cry about friends we lost. Yeah. What do you have left? Uh -huh. We have to take what we have and put it in God's hands. Come on, clap your hands and tell the Lord. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you got to take what you have Thank you. and you got to put it in God's hands. Yes. Now look yes. at this woman's response. Amen. Amen. Elisha says, what do you have? She says, I have nothing at all. I have nothing at all except. Hmm. And that's key terminology. All right. Except. Hmm. That's the area where God is going to work. Uh -huh. yeah. See, God works in the exception. Uh -huh. I don't care how much you lost, you haven't lost it all. All right. Amen. I see people on the news that lost everything in the fire. But no, you didn't lose it all. You still got your breath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You still got your limbs. Uh -huh. You still got yeah. energy yeah. to get that stuff again. Amen. The woman says, I have nothing except a little oil. All she had was a little bit of olive oil. Hmm. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. All, I got all I got is a little oil. Is a little oil. Elijah says, since you got a little oil yeah. and you got a whole lot of debt, so to her, it looked like her need outweighed her supply. Uh, well, she needed a whole lot of money, but all she had was a little oil. Mm -hmm. Elijah told her to go around town and borrow jars from your neighbors, mm -hmm. as many jars as you can. Mm -hmm. This woman probably felt embarrassed going to borrow jars from her neighbors. Mm -hmm. But her name was probably on tomorrow when they was gathering water at the well. They probably was going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. They probably was going to talk about it. But when they run into their mess, when they run into their situation, they're going to need her testimony. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It is good to have a testimony yeah. for yourself. Yeah. I talked to folks that said, I used to find hope at the end of a crack pipe. Mm -hmm. I used to find hope at the bottom of a liquor bottle. Uh -huh. I used to find hope. In, in, in women. Uh -huh. Sometimes I used to find hope in men. Uh -huh. But now, you got a testimony. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It's good uh -huh. to have a testimony yeah. for yourself. Yeah. 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 You better go tell somebody yeah. about the goodness uh -huh. of Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Elijah told her to go around and borrow these jars. Mm. He said, don't borrow just a few. So I can just imagine that they probably went with a wheelbarrow mm. to borrow these jars. Well, He said, get as many jars as you can. Mm. Look at Elijah. Look at Jesus. Look at God. Uh -huh. Saying to this woman who's in debt to go borrow, mm. to borrow some jars. Make sure they empty. Because God don't want nothing that's in it. Because sometimes God got to make sure that you're empty before he can fill you up. All right now. All right now. All right now. All right now. But we must understand that God doesn't always think like we think. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He told this woman in debt to go borrow some jars. Well, get these jars and bring them to your house. Then go into your room with your children and shut the door. Uh -huh. Somebody say shut the door. Shut the door. Yeah. 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 I looked at that and I asked God, why did this woman need to go in her room, hurt her son, and shut the door? Well, church, are you ready for your blessing? Come on, preacher. Yeah. Ask God, why does she need to go in the house and shut the door? Uh -huh. But I found out that sometimes when God get ready to bless you, everybody can't take it. Uh -huh. right. Everybody right. can't stand right. what God is about to do. Yeah. So I want you to go in your house, yes, you and your son, uh -huh. and shut the, door. shut the door. I can't let everybody see what I'm about to do. Well, Come on, look at your name. Uh -huh. Look at your name and say, Neighbor, are you ready for what God is getting ready to do with me? If you're not, I got to shut the door. See, God is getting ready to do something with you. Some folks ain't able to stand with you. God's getting ready to raise you up. Just because those folks said God could raise you up. Uh -huh. Touch about five folks and say, God going to raise me up. God going to raise me up. God going to raise me up. He going to raise me up. I found out when I praise God, I know praises are for God. See, when praises go up, blessings come down. See, some folks don't want to see you shout. Because they don't want to see you get blessed. Uh -huh. You gotta keep on shouting. You gotta keep on dancing. Sometimes I shout even after the music stops. You gotta give it to God. This woman, her and her son, they entered her room. They shut the door and started to pour the oil into the jar. Sometimes your blessing comes behind. Closed door. Yeah. As she was pouring, she cried to her son. and said, son, bring me some more jars. And he said, mama, ain't no more. She said, when I started out, I didn't have enough oil to fill one jar. But when God got through, come on here, with what God was going to do, I got more oil. Then I got y'all. Uh -huh. Listen, my friends. Amen. If this text tells me what I think it is saying, if we use what we have, All right. God can give us what he wants us to have. Uh -huh. So from now on, I'm going to live on what I got left. The, fan, the plan to fix your problems sometimes involves what you already have, to. Mm -hmm. This woman losing her income, her hopes, in her dreams. She discovered she had something that God could increase. What do you have in your house that God can use? Sometimes we have things around our house that we haven't used in years. Sometimes we make time to put it on eBay, put it on Amazon, have a yard sale, and pay off our debts. There'll be times in life when you feel you have nothing. You might be in such a time like that right now. Well, Amen. you might Amen. meet that time tomorrow. If we breathe, we have something precious. Mm. Something called life. Yeah. Amen. 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 To go Amen. from Amen. life to abundance, we must evaluate our current situation. Well, we discover mm. that there are things we have that we can use. Mm. Even if it may seem too little. It can be useful. Hmm. 
this passage in scripture, it, it teaches us that when we use what we have, God will give you what he wants you to have. Uh -huh. All right. Let All God right. show you what your oil is and how to use it in a way that glorifies his name. Yeah. If we're going to make something out of nothing, sometimes we have to involve our community. To make something out of nothing, we need the confidence that when we have done all we can, God will make up the difference. Mm -hmm. Your real faith is shown in what you do when the numbers don't add up. Mm -hmm. All right now, all right now. And I found out that people who trust God do what they can and leave the rest to God. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. To look your limitations in the face and acknowledge them is sometimes the way to find God. Mm -hmm. yes. So I want to ask you, what do you have in your house mm -hmm. all right, that God can use? Mm -hmm. yeah. The Bible says God will increase his love in your heart. Mm -hmm. God will increase your righteousness. Yes. God will increase your greatness. God will increase your name and your family and wisdom. Mm -hmm. What do you have in your house? Right. This widow had just a little oil and a whole lot of faith. Right. Her miracle was closer than it appeared. Well, well, that breakthrough for you is closer than it appears. That new job is closer than it appears. Yes. Clap your hands. Yes. And know yes, sir. that your blessing is on the way. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's why. Sometimes we got to praise them right now. Amen. Right now. Yes, yes. In order to receive something, you have to expect something. Mm -hmm. yes. In order to receive something, sometimes you have to do something you've never done before. Amen. I don't know when it's coming, but God, I'm going to praise you right now. Uh -huh. I will lift up your name. I will worship you right here and right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Before All you right. make a way, before All you right. work it out, because I know it's on the way. Well, Your healing is on the way. Your blessing is on the way. Yeah. Yeah. You must turn your eyes towards the hill from where your help comes from. Yeah. All right. And your help comes from the Lord. The Lord. Yeah. You have to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yeah. My God shall supply all your needs yes. according to his riches in glory. Yes. Yeah. When my mother and father forsake you, the Lord will take you up. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed against you shall yes. prosper. Yes. It's like learning how to walk on the tightrope. Mm -hmm. They say when they learn how to walk on the tightrope, they start off with the rope low. And perfect they walk while they're low. Mm -hmm. But when God raises you up, you can walk on that tightrope like a pro. All right. All right now. But you're going to need some help. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Like Adam, he sinned in the Garden of Eden. Well, God said, I'm going to send a second Adam. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to send the last Adam. Mm -hmm. So down through 40 Come and on two here. generations. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. God said, uh, send a Savior. Uh -huh. And I want to know, do you know who he is? Yes. Yes. Do you know his name? Uh -huh. yes. Some call him Elohim. All right. All right, all right. Some call him Yahweh. All right. All right. Some call him Jehovah. Yeah. Right. Jehovah Nisi. Uh huh. Jehovah Salam. Uh huh. Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. yeah. Jehovah Rapha. Yeah. Jehovah Sam. Uh huh. Some call him El Elyon. Uh huh. Some call him right. the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Uh -huh. Some call him the Prince of Peace. Uh huh. Some call him the Way, the Truth, and the Life. Yeah. yeah. Some call him the Bright in the Morning. Yeah. 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 Some call him yeah. a Wheel in the Middle of the Yeah. Yeah. Some call him some call him the good shepherd. Uh -huh. Some call him the light of the world. Yeah. Some call him the bread of life. Uh -huh. Some right. call him the everlasting right. yeah. Some call him Emmanuel. Uh -huh. right, Some now. call him Yeshua. I'm a seed. Some yeah. call him the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. Yeah. The beginning and the end. Yeah. The Say. first and the last. Yeah. Some call him the mighty God. Yeah. Yeah. Some call him the wonderful counselor. Uh -huh. yeah. Some call him the chief cornerstone. Yeah. Some call him a strong yeah. uh -huh. Some call him the great high priest. Uh -huh. Some yeah. call in righteousness, but I, I call him to. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noon, 
Jesus lay that night yes. in the midnight hour. Yes. That reminds me of the song that goes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Y'all yes. come on, help me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What's his name? Jesus is his name. Yeah. When, when I call him, when I'm sick, 